Welcome back to Pinball Help. Here we are with our finished uh, DMD board with the power supply rebuilt. And uh, we're going to plug it in and see if it works. Uh, this came out of a Star Trek The Next Generation, but we're putting it in the Bram Stoker's Dracula because uh, they use the same system and we can put it in here. So let's turn it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. Turn it on. See what we get. Yay! So our board is working. As is uh, as is usual, um, I learned some stuff. One of the things I learned is I ordered this kit, and um, I put some components in wrong, which I didn't uh, videotape the pulling out and moving around part, but. Uh, even though the transistors and some of the diodes looked identical, they weren't. There was tiny little numbers on some of them that I misread, so I had to put those back together. Um, I ordered this kit online, and they didn't send me uh, an instruction thing which listed the part numbers and where they go. After communicating with them, I managed to find the instruction sheet and uh, figure out that things were wrong and luckily I did this before I put it in and turned it on otherwise I probably would have fried everything so everything turned out okay but uh, the lesson learned here is when you order something from a supplier double check triple check and quadruple check the items they send you and compare it against the schematics and the parts list in the game manual and make sure everything is okay because it's very easy for for these people to send you the wrong thing or uh, send you improper instructions or no instructions at all and you just think okay well these things look just like the other things they're identical let's just replace them and uh, find that there was one tiny little thing that's off even though these transistors look identical they're not even though these diodes, some of these diodes, they're just tiny little differences in some of the voltages and uh, that's bad so it's important to make sure that every single little component is right and uh, I learned it this way, not the, the, not the hard way because the hard way would have been to put it in wrong and then blow the whole board or blow other components and have to replace more but I ended up having to move a few things around because I thought a diode was a you know, diode was a diode, but one of them was like 67 volts, and one of them was like 63 volts, and it was uh, it was important to note that distinction. So, live and learn, and we have our DMD fixed, and I'm going to put that back in the original game, and put the original one back in this. Thanks for watching. Tune in to pinballhelp.com. Leave some comments. Uh, tell me I suck. Whatever. As long as I get traffic and people and I know that I'm not just talking to myself that's that's good enough for me thanks